Hey what's up guys welcome to another Inkscape tutorial for beginners I am Shai Sheikh in today's tutorial I will be demonstrating how to create a gradient background we can notice that from the past few years there is a trend of gradient background and is still going on I have seen it in many places there is a chance also you have seen it in any web design or a graphic design like in the hero section of website also gradient buttons in business flyers or in any e-commerce website slider in Inkscape it is very easy to create a gradient background if you don't know what Inkscape is Inkscape is a free and open source vector graphic software which runs on all three operators Windows, Linux and Mac it is a free alternative of Adobe Illustrator if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe to the channel to get my all latest tips and tutorials let's get started open up the Inkscape now first I will go to the file document properties display units I will set to the pixels units also pixels border show page border I will uncheck this one cancel this one now come here to the view make sure you have custom selected now come here to the zoom 101 Open up this edit object color gradient. Also enable this snapping section. Now come here to the right side and enable this one snap centers of object. Now first I will create a rectangle. To create a rectangle select this. Create rectangles and squares. And I will create a rectangle. Now select this. Now come here to the width. I will give it a value of 1280 now come here to the height and I will give it a value of 720 which is a YouTube thumbnail size to zoom in and out like this we can simply hold control in the keyboard and scroll the mouse up and down and drag like this hold the control in the keyboard and hold right click in the mouse drag it wherever you want now come here to the fill select the linear gradient now press G in the keyboard to get this rotation angle now select this square and bring this upward to this corner now come here down and select this corner circle now bring this to this corner now bring this cursor, follow along this line, come downward. If you come here in the middle, it will automatically get snapped. It is here. Click here two times, so we get this node. Now select this, select out of the graphic to deselect. Now first what I will do, I will select the color which I am going to use. Now first I will create a 3 rectangles here like this. Now I will make a duplicate of this. To duplicate we can simply right click, duplicate or we can use the keyboard shortcut which is Ctrl D. Now select the first one. Now I will come here to the color palette and I will select this color, not this one, from here this one double five double zero d4 select this one let's say i will write it here double five double zero d4 select this now i will select this to this we will give this color this one double a double zero d4 double a double zero d4 select this now select this one to this one we will give this color which is d4 double zero double a d4 double zero double a now select out of the graphic to deselect now again i will select this rectangle now press g so we get this rotation angle now I will select this side 
now come here down and select this one pick color from image now click it here by left clicking drag over here so we get this color here now select this node come up here select this now come up here to this node select this one select this select out of the graphic to deselect now i will select this create and edit text object now i will type a gradient and i will type it in capital letter select this one bring this here change the color to the white and open up this we went select fund family it is open already here now i will choose the fund leak gothic if you want this fund you can check the link in the description below it is here i will select this apply now by holding control and shift in the keyboard i will drag this down to make it bigger this point is very useful in graphic design and it is used by many professional graphic designers it is mostly used in the title section you can see the structure it is bold and very simple and elegant looking the problem is here the letters are very close so what we can do select this now again select this create an edit text object now come here to the spacing between letters let's give it a value of 10 now select this now we can see it look good or we can try uh, 8 now this look good now what we will do we will make a duplicate of this right click duplicate bring this down again select this now delete this now i will type a background let make it little bit smaller now by holding control and shift in the keyboard i will drag this inward to make it smaller So guys that's how we can create a gradient background using Inkscape. If you have any queries let me know in the comment section below. Try different color combination of your like. I hope you enjoyed this video. If this video was helpful to you please make sure to give a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel to get my all latest tips and tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching guys. See you in the next video.